Hello everyone and welcome to the Zumo bot review. So let's get started. So this is the Zumo bot. Um it's really tiny. Powered by Arduino. Um you see, sorry is my phone. See the see was this was my hand. This is my hand. It can practically fit in your palm your my hand. Or for your hand or whatever. But yeah, and then it has all. I have it, have it loaded with a line following program, which I'm going to do in a minute here. It's going to try to get the maze, try to get to that black square. Um, let's turn it on, but it's not going to really work that well because it has to follow a line. But it's just going to spin. Oh my god! <laughs> well, actually, it sort of does see the line in the floor, sort of following it. Um. Yeah, uh, it's pretty sensitive. Um, here's a line following sensor, and it can push stuff. You can see this metal thing right here. So let's get started to the line thing. All right, so power it on. What the heck? Oh, okay. Alright, so ready? It's gonna try to get to the square. It's gonna do really well. <laughs> Sometimes it glitches out, but I'll do it until it works. Let's go. Done. It's pretty fast. It's meant for a racing robot. Um, let's, let's do it again from a different place. So you have to reboot it. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah, that's that's the glitch. That's the problem. Um, let's see if I can start it from here. Ah, darn it! I guess it has to start from here, maybe. Let's try that again. If it doesn't work, whatever, I'll fix it later. But. Go. Okay, yeah, now it works. Yeah, it worked. So, yeah, that's pretty much it about the Zumo, but it's pretty small, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, so goodbye and see you later.